hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel and today we'll be looking at how to install wordpress on cwp uh, of course you should know that uh, this tutorial is available on my youtube channel kindly click the subscribe button and be a part of my community if you have any question feel free to chat me up uh, in this instance i will be very very glad to you know give some support so cwp is a CentOS control panel and uh, that is a graphics user interface that you can use for your server administration management so we have others like cpanel has been well known we have a cwp we have webuzo we have direct admin we have several other uh, interfaces and solutions okay and in this video guide i'm going to walk you through uh, the use of CWP. Uh, subsequent videos, I'll be walking you through the use of direct admin web control uh, and some other solution. Interfaces can be different, but then we can still achieve the same goal uh, using any of these interface or any of these solutions. So the first and most important thing is to have a domain and uh, an hosting plan. So you have to have a domain and hosting facility. So in my, if for this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of this uh, domain, which I have actually set up with this hosting. And that is the one you see here. And uh, this is the interface of CWP uh, for the user. And uh, that is so straightforward. Uh, you will be able to see a drop down of uh, your menu. And you can make use of any of these, or you can also come to these uh, interfaces and just click. So the most important thing, once you have access to your uh, user's panel, is to first of all install your SSL certificate. And uh, for CWP, uh, you can make use of uh, Let's Encrypt, uh, which will be available under this auto SSL under the domain section. So you just click on your SSL. And uh, the next thing you do is to select the domain or the subdomain and you just click install and i've actually done the installation so i don't need to do it again so the next thing you want to do uh, if you want to create an account an email account you can scroll down to email and under accounts yeah, you can just click on this and you create as much uh, account as possible as available for the hosting package that you have selected and you can just click add new please note the number of hosting uh, email accounts that you can create uh, you can add new and you just set up your installation and everything is good so the next thing is to install uh, your wordpress installation an instance of your wordpress so you can either use your add-on which is by default aligned or come by default with a CWP, or you can click on Subtaculous, which is an installer script uh, with Subtaculous. So in this case, I'm going to click on scripts uh, because it's almost the same thing. Uh, the most important thing is that CWP add-on has a lot of facilities available, and you can select any of it if you, are, if you want to make use of this solution. So in our own case, I'm just going to click on WordPress and I will click on install. So here you are going to choose the domain that you want to select and make sure you remove this uh, directory, which is going to install your instance, your WordPress instance in another sub directory. So actually we want it to install in the main directory, in the main domain. That is why you have to select the domain and not any other this place was be blank so the next thing is to put the site title uh vclad store training so let us just put that and in fact let us use it as also the site description and uh, the next thing is to enter the wp wordpress admin detail yeah you just want to make sure that you make use of something that you would you would always remember 
tax pro vclad okay let me pick this and i'm going to make sure that i'm using that same uh, for my for my password your password should be secure your password should be lowercase uppercase number and symbol but for this tutorial and i'm going to delete this uh, installation immediately after uh, i just want to use it to explain I, I can make use of this same password and it's all good so then the next thing is to set up an admin just admin email uh you can be clad store.com and that is most important so this is for your admin panel info uh the next thing you can select language but by default ours is english uh and this will be uh, just don't touch anything here this is your database of uh, setup by default it has already created it so you don't need to change anything just leave it like this and you can either select any of this team uh these are free teams available but then you can decide to just have the default wordpress theme and by doing that you just need to scroll down to the bottom and click install and once you click install it's going to ask you to confirm the details you just click continue and your installation begins within a very short time you will see that your installation will be completed will be successful except if there is any other thing wrong probably you have done a uh, previous installation like i see installation was completed successfully and you can see that this link will take you to your wordpress installation okay and this link will take you to, take me to your wordpress but something is wrong here and i'm going to explain it now what was wrong was that the installation took me to unsecure uh, unsecure site of this same uh, admin account so i'm just going to enter the username uh, we have copied and the password and i click login now we have access to the wordpress instant or the wordpress dashboard the back end of the wordpress and uh, you start doing your you know solution creativity and what have you and that this is why it actually logged me to that instance so if you look at this you see it ends with http and if you should click on it it's going to take you to this page uh rather i want something that will redirect all my http uh, to https and in that case i just need to do this and subsequently all installation will be going to https now you can see so and uh, we have the login one more time 